Applause won't pay your rent, Minister, or put food on your table, or pay for your transport to and from work. COVID-19 has rightly shone the spotlight on our health service and frontline workers. All in this together has been the mantra for the government since the start of this unprecedented pandemic back in March. However, all in this together has been found to have a hollow ring to it. As the business lobbyists push for the economy to be reopened, despite ongoing health risks to the public, and to our most vulnerable and to the frontline workers. The government ignored NEFA's advice prior to Christmas, and Ireland is now being used as a cautionary tale internationally for, for valuing business over the health, uh, health, our health service and the health of the public. While huge pay increases are being discussed at Cabinet, like the Tories, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil last year encouraged the public to clap for our healthcare workers. Applause won't pay your rent, Minister, or put food on your table, or pay for your transport to and from work. Maybe you could ask your landlord friends if they would accept a bill of boss in, in lieu of the rent from their tenants who are student nurses and midwives. Rather, rather than simply and simplistically applauding our frontline staff, we must support our workers, appreciate our workers, value our workers, and listen to the unions. The Government commissioned two reviews into the pay of student nurses and midwives. The form, form for, of this Government is to leak information before allowing for proper debate, scrutiny or discussion. Of of course, we first heard about the recommendations from Dr. Co Tom Collins' review on pay for placements during the COVID-19 pandemic on RTE, where we see all the, where the business has done in relation to the, the doll. In the meantime, there are over 4,500 student nurses and midwives completing clinical placements, requiring them to work 12-hour shifts per day for no pay. The government is reportedly offering €100 Euro per week payment based on this review. And how can opposition, unions and interested parties examine this recommendation when we haven't even seen the review yet? Minister, people putting their lives on the line might be given €100 Euro per week payment. At the same time, as has been said before here previously, the new Secretary-General of the Department of Health is reportedly receiving an €81,000 pay rise, increasing the salary for this position to €292,000. Who sanctions this? Where, where did this idea come from? And why has it been pursued when Mr Watt has already been working as Secretary-General in the interim? The Department said the most highly complex, with a, ve with a very challenging brief, particularly in the midst of the global pandemic. Was this increase requested as part of the contract negotiation? I think we would need to know that. Has the Secretary-General of the Department been involved in the vaccination strategy? This week has seen reports of family members of hospital management and construction workers and others receiving leftover vaccinations. What involvement has the Secretary General and the Department had in, that, in the vaccination strategies? I'm also wondering about the 14.1 million which was paid out to a company called Roku for, for ventilators from China which have not been and will not be used. What a waste of vital resources. The Tannis is recently talking about all these ventilators that we have, we have but said that we don't have the personnel capacity to use them. But well, the towns are referring to a warehouse full of usable ventilators. I understand that globally we have been experiencing an unprecedented pandemic, but it is amazing that the money that can be found when deemed as necessary within this government. I saw a tweet the other day that said Ireland responded more coherently to the COVID-19 pandemic at the start when we had no government. Thank you, the Deputy. consistent undermining of, of yourselves from within government ranks has, uh, government ranks has shown the public that we are most certainly not at all in this together. Deputy.